Hey guys, William Inferno here today with another LEGO Bionicle 2016 review. This time we're going to be taking a look at Icker, Creature of Fire. Now, I just want to state I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, so you may hear me be... I'm normally going to say Icker because that's what I first saw it as, but I've heard that people also like to call it Ikir, um, and I think Ikir rolls off the tongue a little better, so I might call it Ikir. Um, those are the two main names I've heard this set being called, but just know that I do not know um, what the correct pronunciation for it is because LEGO has not officially released that. So um, let's get into it. Here we have Akir on the front of the box with its shadow trap, 77 parts, um, more information, mask of control at the top. I think I've stated this before but I really do like the green that they set that the new boxes have. Um, of course it's Akir. Uh, you can combine him with Tahu or unite him and then uh, you get this, which in my opinion looks pretty cool. And then you have the function, 1-1 one -one scale, the mask, and the shadow trap. So um, that is it for the box. Um, just looking at the shadow trap quick, I actually really like this shadow trap compared to the one I built last night, which was Terax. And this one is still pretty simple, I mean you just have legs and an eye. But the reason I like this one a little bit more is because this one actually has a blue eye. And blue is starting to become like an accent color for some of the uh, orange or red sets I guess, or the fire sets. Even though there's no blue accents on Akir, um, there is a blue accent on the um, Shadow Trap, which I really actually like. And that's basically what makes me like this is that they, they differentiated this one from the others by using the blue eye, which is really nice. And then this piece is in here just to hold it together. Of course the Shadow Trap can do this, um, and the legs can move. And uh, yeah, basic Shadow Trap, but pretty cool in my opinion. Moving on to the main part of the set, we have Akir. So, um, first off, the build. Uh, I thought it was fun. It wasn't my favorite build ever. Um, but I certainly thought it was different from the others, and I just I thought it was a, a nice build, and I enjoyed it quite a lot. Um, for newer recolored parts, um, we have these bone pieces in trans orange. Now, I know that there were um, some Chima Ultra builds that came out last year or almost two years ago now. I don't know if these parts were in those, but for the US at least, I know that these um, shorter pieces, these shorter limb, these shorter um, bone parts in trans orange, are fairly new to us. Um, correct me if I'm wrong because I don't remember seeing them in any of the summer wave at all, but I can assure you that they weren't in the winter wave for 2015. Um, and then we have this new gold um, uni um, uni uh, piece of unity, unity piece, I guess. Um, it's alright, I like it in gold, it just, it doesn't have a CCBS connection, so it connects through axles back here. Um, I like how it's different, you know, it has these nice designs with the pistons and all. Uh, then we do have this new uh, sword piece in uh, orange, melded with silver, with a silver hilt. So I like it. It's it's a nice piece. It's a little small for a sword, so maybe if you were going to use it on a mock, you might want to bulk it up a little bit. But for the most part, it's pretty cool. On the back here, we do have these new gear parts that have axes on the ends of them, which is really nice. There is also a couple new Technic parts in this build somewhere, but I don't really want to pull it apart right now. Uh, and then of course we have the new creature mask, and this time it's in gold, melded with trans orange. This is, I'm gonna say, my favorite um, creature mask so far, uh, just because of the trans orange. I really like how it melts together with the gold. This is a very, very nice looking um, combination of colors. So yeah, that is really nice. Uh, articulation wise, he has, of course, ankles and hips, two in the neck. And you do get some on the wings right here, and you do get some here. Um, color scheme wise, it's incredibly consistent. I really like the gold with the trans orange. You know, of course, there's little accents of silver. Um, but what does kind of break the color scheme slightly is the orange here. There is no other orange on the set. It's not a huge deal because orange is, a, is it goes really nicely with other fire colors like yellow and red and trans orange, you know, but it's not, there's no more orange on it, so to some people that might be a little annoying. Normally the red pins sort of take away from it, but the red is also a fire color. Um, there is some blue pins, but again, the blue pins don't really take away from it either, just because 
um, blue is becoming more of an accent color, and there's other blue on the set, obviously, with the Shadow Trap. So it's not a huge deal, and they're, they're starting to... Um, I just like how it worked out. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, you also have articulation down here. And here, I really like this design. Um, I really like how you can actually, you know, claw things, you know, just pick them up. Um, or you can stand him up with just these parts if you want to. As you can see, it's pretty stable. Um, I didn't think the set was going to be that stable, but, I mean, it is. You can also just have them flat. You don't have to have them like that. There is quite a few points of articulation in the spikes and such. As you can see here, it's connected like this, and it has... it can do that and stuff. Um, you can also just put it up there if you need to. I like, personally, I like to have it like that, so you can have him standing up, and it looks like he's like clawing into the ground. Um, so, yeah. He does have the Phoenix-esque, which I really like. It, it looks like a mini Phoenix to me, just because of the fire and everything. His function um, is very similar to that of um, Uxar, kind of. You can just flap the wings back and forth by doing this, by lifting up the tail. And that's really nice. You get some points of articulation over here, um, so you can do that if you need to. It looks pretty cool. Um, you can also have it back, so... You do that, they can clap together, I guess, if you want to do that. Um, and overall, he just looks like a cool set. Like, he's he's very pleasing to look at. He's he's pretty cool. I just, I like him a lot compared to Kitar. Um, but yeah. So, um, how does Ikir, Creature of Fire, stand out from the others? Well, I like him. I like his color scheme, I like his function, I just basically like the sets as a whole. Um, so yeah, I would recommend picking up this creature if you went to the store and you saw all the creatures. The other couple creatures I'd recommend picking up are definitely Akita, um, Uxar, and possibly uh, Terak, but um, in my opinion Kitar is kind of just a lost cause. Anyway, um, Ikir gets, I'm going to give him an 8.5 out of 10. Honestly, I, he's cool, right? But he's just, he's not my favorite ever. So I think an 8.5 seems appropriate for him, um, for what you get with it. The next review will be on Liwa Uniter of Jungle. So we're going to get straight to the Uniters now, and then it's going to go on from there until we get to Umarak and then, and then Kopaka and Melum Unity. All right, so that's it for this review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys later.